hi guys this is video part 3 um, for the series of videos I am creating under the title Zinc Ultra Scale Plus and Petal Linux in this video and I think the next two or three videos I am showing you how you can on Zinc Ultra Scale device um, basically compile and build Petal Linux and then how this within Petal Linux you can talk to GPIO, I2C and SPI interfaces so here is a block diagram of what we are going to do inside the PS there exists SPI and I2C and GPIO interfaces we also instantiate I2C, SPI and GPIO interfaces inside the PL and then with this simple Vivado design we go ahead we build it, we create the design and then we build the Petal Linux and then I show you how using Petal Linux I can access each of these interfaces I can send data and read data to each of these interfaces and in order to test our design to prove that the design is working fine I am connecting our ZCU102 board with simple wires to a Z-turn board and on the Z-turn board we have the Zinc 7000 Zinc 7020 basically and there I put some ELAs and with the ELA, with the logic analyzer, I monitor the waveforms coming from each of these interfaces to make sure that the interface is really working fine. So basically, in the design we are going to create inside the Zinc Ultra Scale on the CU102 board, we have these interfaces enabled obviously we have UART, Ethernet, timers and these um, essential uh, peripherals for bringing up the Petal Linux they are all enabled also we have I2C and GPIO interfaces inside the PS enabled and then for the Vivado design we have uh, in the PL we have GPIO, I2C and SPI interfaces enabled and basically I will show you how we can access all of these interfaces from Petal Linux running on the PS so the steps that we will go through during um, the next videos are basically the following we create a Vivado design then we export the HDF file out of Vivado design, we configure Petal Linux, we customize the device tree inside Petal Linux, we customize the Petal Linux root FS, we customize the Petal Linux kernel configuration, and um, also I'll show you how you can create an application for Petal Linux, a custom application for Petal Linux. This is we use for SPI interface communication. Then I show you how we build Petal Linux and how we create the final boot.bean file. And then we show everything on the real hardware. So these are basically the steps that I'm going to follow in the coming, I think, two or three next videos. So we go ahead with the next video. In the next video, we focus on the Vivado design. We create the Vivado design. That is very simple and straightforward. And then we export the HDF file. And then in the videos after, we build Pet Petal Linux. And then we talk about customization. And then we test everything on the real hardware.